Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has posted another Windows update issue on their known issues um, page over on Microsoft Docs. And this time it's to do with updates that are causing issues with the XPS uh, viewer, which basically, if you don't know what that is, it's an alternative to um, the Adobe PDF. Now, the good news is, though, um, that if you are an average home user, this really isn't going to affect you. Um, as the XPS uh, viewer uh, is no longer installed by default and that's as of Windows 10 version 1803 and if you do want to um, install the XPS uh, viewer then you can do that manually. Now once again th this issue is for both Windows 10 and 11 with recent updates and for Windows 10 um, that's with update KB5014666 and this isn't the first time we're talking about issues that were um, started with the um, operating system um, and that's for this update and any uh, updates installed after 5014666 and this applies both to Windows 10 and 11. Now this was the optional update that rolled out near the end of June this year and uh, if we just head over to that post by Microsoft, XPS documents with non-English language characters might not open last updated on the 8th of August, which was yesterday in my region. Now, um, they say that after installing KB5014666 or later updates, XPS viewer might be unable to open XML paper specification documents in some non-English languages, including some Japanese and Chinese uh, character encodings. And then they say, uh, um, when encountering this issue, you may receive an error. This page cannot be displayed within XPS viewer or it might stop responding and have high CPU usage with continually increasing memory usage. When the error is encountered, if XPS viewer is not closed, it might reach up to 2.5 gigabytes of memory usage before closing unexpectedly. And that's a serious amount of memory for that to use. So um, that's quite a hectic issue if you are experiencing that. Now, as mentioned, um, it says uh, this isn't affecting um, most home users. And the XPS viewer is no longer installed. Now, if you would like to get to it and install it manually for whatever reason, um, or uninstall it, um, you can just head to your control panel in both Windows 10 and 11, and head over to your programs and features. And this is an optional feature. So uh, here we go to turn Windows features on or off. And this applies to both Windows 10 and 11. And this is uh, what we are talking about, Microsoft XPS Document Writer. And um, I've disabled it, so I've, I've, um, I've uninstalled it as an optional feature. And if you want to uninstall it, just uncheck the box, follow the process, uh, the steps, restart your device. Or if you want it uh, installed and reinstalled, you can just check the box and go through the same process. So that's the Microsoft XPS Document Writer. And then if we just head back to uh, that post by Microsoft, they say uh, um, they are working on a resolution, so there's no fix. And they will provide an update in an upcoming release. So uh, that could be possibly rolling out near the end of this month with the optional bug fix C release update. And affected platforms are, as mentioned, Windows 11. And then we get, uh, that's version 21H2, the latest stable release. And then we get Windows 10 versions 21H2, 21H1, 20H2, and then Windows Server 20H2. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.